Hello and welcome to our lesson on Klaviyo account setup and integrations. Let's go over what topics we'll be covering. First, your account registration and initial setup. Next, integrating with your e-commerce platform. Specifically, we're dealing with Shopify. Then, migrating to Klaviyo from an existing email service provider. We'll demonstrate how to do it with MailChimp. And lastly, we'll touch on some other integrations, such as the Facebook advertising integration, as well as how to connect apps in the Shopify ecosystem with Klaviyo. Registration is very simple. All you have to do is sign up and follow all the prompts from the setup wizard. Now, if you don't already have an account registered, we'd greatly appreciate using our agency affiliate link below. In full transparency, we do get an incentive from Klaviyo for any new customer we bring but we hope that you'll do us a favor in return for this free course and the resources we hope to provide. In any case, the setup wizard will ask you some basics in order to begin getting you integrated with your e-commerce platform, as well as your logo and color standards. These are used to pre-populate some default email templates, which serve as a quick to market solution, but we'll be updating templates to be much more polished. We'll be looking at this in much greater detail within our next lesson devoted to email templates. So at this step, don't stress over getting everything perfect. Verify your email address and you're all set for now. There are still some very important steps to cover, however. Although the setup wizard has already taken us through the e-commerce integration, we're not quite finished. Here's a pro tip. A step I always see missed within accounts is to make sure users are able to opt into email marketing at checkout. First, Make sure you have this properly set up in your e-commerce platform. Within Shopify, navigate to your checkout settings. Make sure you have an email marketing opt-in enabled. It is recommended to not pre-select the sign up option. Having this pre-selected might get you more people to sign up, but many will sign up inadvertently, growing your list with people who are unengaged with your emails because they never meant to sign up in the first place. Then having an excess of unengaged subscribers means you're paying more for your Klaviyo plan since the pricing is based on the size of your subscriber list. It also means that your deliverability can suffer if you have low open and click rates. Furthermore, in some regions, it is non-compliant to pre-select the opt-in. You are required to have users actively choose to opt-in, not opt-out. Next, make sure your e-commerce integration is updated within Klaviyo. Klaviyo on-site JavaScript should already have been installed automatically. Under the Collect Subscribers section, I also frequently see this step missed. Make sure you enable Collect Email Subscribers and choose a list to which the user will be added. By default, within a new account, there's a list titled Newsletter. You can change the name of this list. You can entirely change this to a different list at a later time, but the most important thing is to make sure users are added somewhere in Klaviyo and that you know where they're going. I can't stress how many times I see this step incomplete on accounts that I audit. Make sure to select Update Settings at the very bottom of the page. You'll notice SMS here as well, and we'll touch on that in our last lesson, but for the scope of this course, we are primarily focusing on email. Lastly, under Advanced Options, you'll see a checkbox to update Shopify customer profiles with Klaviyo data. Now this allows you to sync updates made within Klaviyo to email address, first name, and last name to be updated and overwritten in Shopify customer profiles. Be careful, as this could unintentionally override fields within Shopify and have some unintended consequences when other app integrations are involved. I would recommend erring on the side of caution and leaving this unselected. For this next step, you may want to bring in a developer if you're not familiar with Shopify's liquid code. If you work with a developer, you might want to pass this off, or at the very least, make sure your developer is aware of changes being made to the theme code. You will want to add Klaviyo's web tracking snippet into your Shopify theme. The purpose of this snippet of code is to allow you to track viewed product data so you can deliver a more personalized email experience based on the products with which a user interacts. Again, this is a step I see missed so many times causing browse abandonment flows to not send or preventing the ability to create segments based on viewed product. Navigate to the drop-down menu in the top right and select Web Tracking. 
Follow the directions, copying the snippet of code and adding it to the product.liquid template on your Shopify theme. If you're wary of carrying this out yourself within the theme code, get in touch with a Shopify partner agency or a developer familiar with Shopify to help. As a side note, there may be some additional needs from a developer. If you'd like users to have the ability to sign up for automated notifications on restocked products, you may also want a developer's assistance with installing the back in stock snippet. It bears mentioning now if you want to have a few things lined up for your developer. Once you have the snippet installed within the theme code, ensure it's working correctly back in Clavio within the web tracking window. Enter your store URL and select next. Once you see the waiting for data button change to data received, you should be good to go. If you don't see this, you might need to have a second look and make sure it's done properly. Be sure to check Clavio's help documentation, which we've linked, or you can always reach out to Clavio's support team for more guidance. If you're switching from one email service provider to Clavio, you'll want to bring over as much customer data as possible. Clavio has documentation to help guide you through the migration process. See the link for guides on how to go about ensuring your contacts and data can be migrated through direct integration. Not every email service has a direct integration with Clavio, yet many of the most popular do, such as MailChimp, Constant Contact, and Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Following those guides will make your life much easier in making the transition. In essence, the guides all walk you through obtaining the necessary API keys from your previous email provider and adding them into Clavio. Let's start with our example in MailChimp. Go to your account settings, then from the extras dropdown, select API keys. Create a key, and this is what you'll use to integrate with Clavio. Now back within Clavio, you'll want to navigate to the integration section from the menu on the left. Then select the all integrations tab and find the particular integration you'll want to enable. In this case, we're using MailChimp as our example. So place the API key in and choose to connect. This will begin the integration and pull your data directly into Clavio. It may take some time to fully populate, but if you head over to your lists and segments, you'll start to see that updated and new list created from the audiences you have in MailChimp. The process is similar for migrating from other email service providers. Be sure to follow the guide for the details on how often the integration will sync data. Keep in mind that you likely still have people signing up for emails on your old platform. Until you are 100% up and running on Clavio, you'll want to rely on the integration continuing to sync and bring people over. Now, if you don't have a direct integration with your previous email service provider, chances are you can still manage fine with a CSV file export of your contacts. Most email service providers should have documentation on how to create a CSV export or a support email that can help you get pointed in the right direction. Once you have your CSV export, or in some cases, multiple exports for different contact lists within the account, navigate to the lists and segments section of your Clavio account. Select the create list slash segment button as we'll be creating a new list. Name your list, and here you'll now be prompted to upload your CSV file. We'll be focusing on lists and segments in greater detail in a later lesson, but as a brief precursor, it bears mentioning here to help understand the differences. Lists are where your contacts are added when they opt into your email marketing, whether it's through a pop-up, an embedded form, the checkout opt-in. In order for you to email them, they generally have to make it onto a list. I say generally as an exception, because there may be some integrations or APIs that will add contacts to Clavio without placing them onto a list. But let's not worry about that for now. You can have multiple lists and maintain them as completely separate arms of your business, such as direct-to-consumer and wholesale lists that you never email both at the same time. But lists are the most fundamental way of organizing your contacts. Segments, on the other hand, are where you apply certain conditions to your lists. For example, you can create segments of customers who have bought from a certain collection, 
subscribers who have never opened an email, or maybe subscribers who have recently visited the site multiple times and viewed a product without purchasing. You'll see a few default segments that will be present within your account, potential purchasers, repeat buyers, and VIP customers. There are all kinds of ways to find unique segments of your subscribers and Klaviyo's data science team is always finding new and innovative ways to apply unique customer criteria. Here we'll quickly run through just how easy it is to set up a segment of contacts, pulling them from separate lists and finding those who haven't opened an email recently. So here we'll choose people that are either in the newsletter list or the partners list and what they have or have not done. Opened email zero times in the last 60 days and that should get us what we want. And there it's populating, and we have our segment. Being a full service agency that also manages paid ads for clients, one of the most impactful integrations is the Facebook advertising integration. By connecting Klaviyo to your Facebook business manager, you're able to leverage your lists and segments within Klaviyo to create audiences. From there, you can create lookalike audiences and apply the same strategy from your customer journey and email to your Facebook ads as well. For more information on Facebook ads, we have a whole course devoted to guiding you through how to get up and running with Facebook ads. We commonly find a great deal of value in leveraging Klaviyo's integrations with apps in the Shopify ecosystem. For instance, if you have a reviews app, integrating with Klaviyo allows you to trigger emails based on positive or negative reviews. Or if you have subscriptions, loyalty rewards, there are all kinds of integrations that will send data to Klaviyo and that data can be used in your segmentation. If you're looking to integrate with any such apps, chances are they're not going to be found in the integration section of Klaviyo. You likely are going to need to create an API key within Klaviyo to connect them. In order to do that, select the drop-down in the top right corner and select Account. Now select the Settings drop-down and choose API Keys. Select the Create Private API Key button. Be sure to select the Edit icon and name it so you can easily keep track of it for future reference. You can copy the API key and paste it within the app you're looking to connect. Now from this lesson, you should have a good understanding of the steps to get your Klaviyo account set up and integrated with your Shopify store. We also briefly covered the difference between contact lists and segments, as well as some of the other key aspects of integrating Klaviyo with other platforms. Whether you're using email segments to power your Facebook audiences, or finding unique ways to incorporate other apps into your customer journey with your email strategy, Klaviyo has seemingly boundless opportunities. In the next lesson, we'll be focusing on email templates and how they can make your email marketing effective look great, and be a streamlined process.